Part of, of the, the safety of the sport and um, part of it doesn't matter what level um, the people are riding at, they need to be in control of their horse. Um, what, I, what I mean by that actually is um, to make it really into basic terms, they need to be con in control of both ends of their horse. Um, and that means that the two predominant aids that we use when we ride, which is your leg and your hand, are made effective. Um, it's really important that, as we all know, that the horse is in front of the leg. Um, certainly, watching these two walk around, they are very much in front of the leg. Um, and also, that they don't run through the bridle. Um, part of being jumping a fence well, it doesn't matter whether you're show jumping or going cross country, um, but it's definitely more difficult when you're going cross country, is riding a horse that's in balance. And it sounds an obvious thing to say, but if a horse is running through the bridle, you're not in balance. Um, equally, if the horse is behind the leg, it's not in balance. So it's important that you use the aid effectively and you train the horses to do so. Very good. And I like the fact that these guys just let the horses pop, pop over the, the pole and, and not make a massive jump and come in canter, just making it very, very easy for the horse, giving it time to see what it's going to do and um, educating it that actually, you know, this is the way that we want to do it from now on. Very good. Corner. Um, if if the canter had been in a, in, a, in a slightly better balance, then you know it would have been easier to have achieved that other stride. However, an another thing about um, cross country, which is very very difficult to teach. Good. Yeah, very good. Doesn't mean you have no contact, but you have a, you know, you've got to give the horse an open door. Soften, yeah, soften. Better.